All right, let's talk about three emulsions and the systems that they belong to. The first one I want to look at is called our CPTEX. CPTEX is a water resistant emulsion designed for plastisols, water based inks, and discharge inks. This is a textile product. It is a basic product. It uses a diesel sensitizer. You must add this sensitizer to this emulsion. Once it's mixed, you have four to six weeks to use it. After that, it may or may not work. So, mix what you need. If, you, if you're only going, going to go through a quart a month, don't buy a gallon. Because once it's mixed, that's it. You can't just take a little bit at a time. This is a very good product. Again, it is for Plastisol, water base, and discharge inks. On our CP Techs, just like all of our products, we have what's known as a user guide. Believe it or not, this user guide will give you detailed information of what you should do to get this product to work correctly. If you look, it has a solids content, viscosity, what, what uh, you should use with it, uh, like reclaimers, things like that. Also on the back side, we give you a, a time to expose it. However, this is just a guide. Don't believe it as gospel. This is just a guide. The next emulsion I'd like to talk about is our Chroma Blue. Our Chroma Blue, it's a pure photopolymer. This is strictly for textile markets. This is for Plastisol ink only. If you're going to use solvent-based inks, this is not for you. The big advantage of this product is it's very fast exposing and it doesn't use one of these little bottles with it. Set, uh, diesel sensitizer. You pop the lid, coat your screens. It's it's already done for you. Nice thing about this also is it's 50% solids. What that's going to translate to you is less coats on your screen. You're going to put like one in one. One coat on the print side, one on the squeegee side, and you're done. That's a typical coating for Chroma Blue because it's 50% solids. That's a lot of solids. Also, pure photopolymers typically are very fast exposing, usually twice as fast as diazo. So this is a very fast product. It's going to really speed up your printing, making screens quickly, everything about it. Also, nice thing about this product, it reclaims easily. Again, user guide. We give you uh, a guide as to what your proper exposure should be. We tell you how to coat it, how to reclaim it. And lastly, I'd like to show you a product that's known as a dual cure emulsion. A dual cure emulsion means it has two sensitizers. You may run into a, uh, some places that will have what's known as a, a triple cure emulsion. What does that mean? It means it has three sensitizers. It doesn't mean it works for water, solvent, and UV. You'd think it would because it's triple cure. Just like a dual cure does not mean it's for water base and solvent. Dual cure means two sensitizers. Triple cure, three sensitizers. In this case, it uses a diazo sensitizer, and the emulsion itself is sensitized. By the way, if you don't put this in, this emulsion, nothing will happen. Again, we have a user guide. It's always a good idea to look at these. It gives detailed information, solids content, what products to use to reclaim it, uh, how to prep your mesh, exposure times, again, as a guide. These are the three types of emulsions on the market today. They are widely used. However, if you're in the textile industry, I would highly recommend CP Techs and Chrome.